Each year, across the world, around 2 billion tonnes of municipal solid waste is generated. As urbanisation continues to rise at unprecedented levels, this is set to double by 2050. The negative impacts of this are already being felt, particularly by those in low and middle income regions. Without intervention, these impacts will continue to worsen. Already each year, 8 million tonnes of plastic finds its way into the world's oceans. Poor waste management is a major cause of greenhouse gas emissions. Public health continues to suffer. Livelihoods too, as untreated, unmanaged waste contaminates soil, impacting agriculture and other economic activity. And pressure increases on fast dwindling natural resources. Improving waste management addresses all of these things. Public health improves. Livelihoods can be protected and boosted as opportunity for investment increases. Environmental degradation can be halted, even reversed. It creates opportunity for resource recovery, reducing dependency on natural resources. People become healthier and begin to benefit from increased investment. And as the places in which they live, work and play become cleaner, they become more contented as well. But the question that's often asked by cities around the world is where do we start? It's a question that can now be answered by the Waste Wise Cities tool. The pathway to improved waste management starts with a critical assessment of the existing situation in the city. This gathering of objective, statistical insight builds the foundation upon which improvements can start. The problem is that reliable data and information remains a challenge, especially in low and middle income cities. This makes it very hard for cities to identify what needs to be done. The policy interventions that are needed, the infrastructure that's required, the most appropriate technology, and how much all of this will cost. All of this leads to insufficient, or quite often, absent municipal solid waste management services. In 2018, UN Habitat launched WasteWise Cities, a call to action to face the global challenge of waste management. It builds knowledge through the sharing of good practice and shifting mindsets through education and advocacy. It establishes common protocols on acquiring waste data and monitoring and it supports project finance and bankability. It works towards achievement of the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, a universal call to action to end poverty, protect the planet, and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030. One of these goals, SDG 11, seeks to make cities and human settlements inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable. One of the indicators to monitor progress towards this goal is 11.6.1. .1. This looks at the proportion of municipal solid waste collected and managed in controlled facilities compared to the total amount generated across a city. The methods and processes for this have been established by UN Habitat to ensure consistency and have been crystallised as the Waste Wise Cities tool. The Waste Wise Cities tool guides you through the processes and methods to acquire the data and insights needed, which comprise seven steps. Step one is preparation. It looks at gaining political support, identifying the stakeholders you'll need to engage with, building the team, gathering the tools and everything else you'll need through the process. Step 2 covers the processes needed to estimate the quantity and composition of municipal solid waste generated in households. Step 3 looks at the waste generated in non-household locations, schools, hospitals, offices, markets and so on. 
Some of the waste collected from households and non-household sources will be delivered to recovery facilities. And step four focuses upon how to identify this quantity as well as evaluating the control level of these facilities. Step five looks at how to measure the municipal solid waste received by disposal facilities, the control level of these facilities, and how to estimate the amount of recyclables that are recovered. Around the world, uncontrolled landfill sites or dump sites receive 40% of the world's waste, serving around 4 billion people. As urbanization and population growth continues, it's expected many hundreds of millions more people will be served by dump sites, mainly in low to middle income countries. Without intervention, by 2050, dump sites will account for 8 to 10 percent of global man-made greenhouse gas emissions. Therefore, this step is extremely important for cities to protect their citizens from the pollution caused by dump sites. Step 6 provides the instructions to measure the composition of waste at disposal facilities. And step 7 links the generated data to other relevant waste SDG indicators on food waste and recycling, as well as the calculation of potential plastic leakage. The WasteWise Cities Tool is designed to achieve two main purposes. One, to ensure that data and insight on existing municipal solid waste systems is reliable and of the highest quality. And two, that the processes used to gather that data and insight are consistently applied so that wherever you are in the world, the same processes are followed. Everything is clearly set out in a step-by-step -step guide, accompanying which is an online course that will equip you with the skills and knowledge to support your cities or your clients' ambitions with confidence.